Hello and welcome to this demonstration of XFlow, Accounts Payable Automation built into Dynamics 365. There are a number of reasons for choosing XFlow as your AP automation solution. XFlow is a tried and trusted solution. XFlow was first released in 2003 and provides over 16 years of Accounts Payable Automation best practices out of the box. It's built into D365, meaning that no integration issues to manage, no synchronization issues, and everything is done in real time. It's fully certified by Microsoft, it's validated for Microsoft's app stores, and it's a Microsoft COSOL ready solution, meaning that it is actively sold by Microsoft themselves. It's powerful and flexible. Customers using XFlow can automate handling up to 80% of their supplier invoices, and it's a global solution used by companies all over the world. In order to work with your invoice information within XFlow and all the benefits that that provides, we first want to capture the data in the most efficient way possible. XFlow typically uses ReadSoft as its preferred scanning and interpretation solution, or OCR. Let's have a quick look at ReadSoft now. ReadSoft Online is a cloud-based solution. Invoices can be received in almost any format, for example, email, paper, XML, EDI, and so on. Here I can see a list of all my invoices. It is important to note that invoices that have been interpreted correctly can flow through automatically to XFlow if you want them to. So what I'm showing you here are the exceptions only. Typically, only the first time an invoice is received from a new vendor, the invoice needs to be verified. So the user would go here to the verify module. From here, I can see the invoice history, look at the invoice image, see other information such as the received date, the status of the invoice, the buyer, supplier name, invoice number, and so on. All this information has already been captured automatically. I can simply press start to look at the first invoice. Here we can see an image of the invoice on the left, which can be moved, zoomed in and out, rotated, etc. On the right, we can see the fields that are being captured and interpreted. This list of fields is customizable. For example, if you have both a US company and an Australian company, you may wish to capture different sets of data. Here I can see that most of the fields have been interpreted correctly, as I can see them ticked in green. As an example, the invoice number is picked up automatically by detecting the word invoice, then looking to the right or below to find the invoice number. If ReadSoft hasn't picked up the correct information from the right place, we can easily change that. In this example, the field text is picking up Warehouse 1. Let's say I wanted to pick up the contact person instead. I can simply double click or lasso, and you can see that it's automatically picked up the right information now, and it will remember that for next time. As I tab through these fields, on the invoice image on the left, I can see where the value has been taken from. So for example, we have the PO number, due date, phone number, amount, tax, currency, and so on. And once everything's ticked in green, we can simply press OK. It's very important to note that this is typically only necessary the very first time you receive an invoice from that vendor. The next time, the system will remember where all the information is placed, and I won't have to do anything. So now, let's jump into XFlow and have a look. As I said before, XFlow is completely built into Dynamics 365 and certified by Microsoft. And being built in means that there are no integration issues, synchronization delays, and therefore provides a real-time insight into your AP processes, including scanning and interpretation, online approvals, and workflow, as well as historical and statistical data. For an example of reporting, please see our Power BI demonstration, also available on YouTube. Let's look at this first invoice number, 312066. This has already been imported by ReadSoft or perhaps another scanning solution. Please again note that typically most of what I will show you now can and should be automated, but for demonstration purposes, I will show it step by step. Batch jobs exist to schedule and automate everything I'm about to show. I want to point out that XFlow supports cross-company view, meaning that if you manage accounts payable for multiple companies, you don't have to log in and out of your companies, you can do it all from the one place. As stated previously, XFlow uses the interpreted information such as the vendor's bank account number, IBAN, telephone number and so on to identify the vendor. Then there is an advanced vendor ID rule where you can set up your own rules and even have a combination of unique identifiers to find the correct vendor. XFlow can also be used for fraud detection. For instance, it can be set to match the bank account number got from the invoice with the bank account details on the vendor's master file and notify and stop the invoice process if there is a difference. As fraud detection is an ongoing process, Automating this process enables your organization to continually protect itself from invoice fraud. I'm just going to hit the edit button and show you a few things you can do here. Firstly, and this is for basically any form in XFlow, you can see an image of the invoice on the right hand side. This can be hidden if you need more screen real estate or even previewed as a mini version on the fact pane. I can see straight away that this is a non-purchase order invoice. There is no PR number populated and the line type is of ledger. 
On the dimensions tab at the bottom, I can see that it's been coded to account 8210. On the approvers tab, I can see that this line is set to be approved or rejected by user AXEDU01. Let me just change the amount here. And hit suggest approvers. You can see that because the first approver did not have a limit to approve, two additional approvers have been added. The approval chain can be as simple or as complex as your organization requires. Xflow utilizes Dynamics 365 workflow, position hierarchies, signing limits, or a combination of all of these. There is also an advanced workflow option, which allows a truly data-driven solution. For example, you may wish to have the cost center owner as the first approver, then the department owner as the next, and then the reference person from the invoice as the next, and so on, all based on signing limits, etc. It is truly very flexible. I can split lines into multiple lines. For example, I'll just change the amount here to 200 and say add loan. Xflow automatically calculates the balance for me, which is handy. This new line needs to be coded, so I'm going to choose a project instead of a ledger. I could also choose a fixed asset. Then I can select the project ID, and because it's a project, I'll also need to choose a project category. Any invoice that needs approval will trigger an email which looks something like this. It is color coded to be highlighted in red for overdue invoices, yellow for almost due, and so on. The approver needs only to click on the hyperlink to enter into the Xflow approval web. For approval, the users can use any device. The approval web portal works just as well on an iPhone, Android, tablet, or computer. There is even an approval portal, which is available within Dynamics 365 as a workspace. Approval is also cross-company, meaning you only have to go to one place to approve all your invoices, regardless of the company. On the approval web, the user can approve, reject, put on hold, forward to someone else, add comments, and many other functions. You can also chat with AP staff, with messages seen both on the approval web as well as an Xflow in Dynamics 365. You can direct comments to specific individuals and automatically send an email to the recipient. This greatly assists the AP team, as instead of having to reject an invoice and start the entire process again, the AP team and approvers can simply communicate via this chat, which sends an email, and they can agree on what to do with it. For a more detailed demonstration on the approval portal, please have a look at that video on YouTube. Let's now move back into Xflow and have a look at another invoice, 1339384. We can see straight away that this is an invoice linked to a purchase order. We have a PO number on the right and line types are of item and charges. Xflow has used all the standard Dynamics 365 matching principles, two-way matching, three-way matching, tolerances, etc. and found this purchase order in lines and matched them to the invoice. The charges that were on the invoice, but not on the purchase order, were also matched as they were within tolerances. We can also see that Xflow pre-matches purchase order invoices upon import. You can immediately see the status, matched, or maybe quantity variance, price variance, and so on. Let's post this invoice and have a look at the results. We can see here that the invoices have been matched without differences, and therefore this was the last to be approved by the system. Let's take another example, invoice number 1355640. We can see that the invoice amount was $781. Let's have a look at the purchase order amount. I can just click on this hyperlink on the purchase order, and if I look at the lines, I can see the price is $642. Therefore, according to the tolerances set up in standard Dynamics 365 and Xflow parameters, this should result in a price variance. We can see from the pre-matching that this invoice has a status of price variance. This means it has gone out for approval, as it can't be system approved, and we also can see who the current and future approvers will be. You may have also noticed that the charges line for freight was automatically matched and therefore approved when posted. Again, this is based on parameters. So any freight, for example, under $500 can be automatically approved. In this example, if any invoice line exceeds $100,000 or any invoice total exceeds $1 million, then it will also go out for approval no matter what. One final example, this time with the quantity difference, invoice number 1610489. You can see that a number of items have the status of no match and a comment of quantity variance. In this case, we've received the invoice, but have not yet received the goods. And this is a common scenario. So now Xflow will wait before bothering the approver, as the approver probably can't do anything until the goods arrive safely. So let's jump to the PO and receive the goods. I'm just going to put in a product receipt number. Now a process will be running in the background, checking to see if the goods have arrived. I'm going to run this manually by clicking this link. The invoice has now been approved because the goods have been received and it meets all other tolerances and rules. 
This happens automatically in the background. Also, it goes without saying that XFlow manages delegation if I'm sick or on leave or escalation, meaning if I do not do my approvals within a certain number of days, it goes to someone else in the approval chain. I want to mention three more very quick things. XFlow supports agreements, meaning that an invoice not linked to a purchase order, for example for your rent, electricity, mobile phones, etc., can be automatically approved by the system. Simply set up the agreement setting which vendor, what date range, the frequency you expect to receive the invoices, the amount tolerances, and if it all matches, it will be system approved. Within this form also, XFlow has the ability to self-bill. For example, some customers would like the ability to automatically create invoices on behalf of their suppliers. In the agreements form here, you can easily create these contracts, either at the header level or the line level, and internally create these invoices. A scanned copy of the agreement or invoice should be attached either at the header or line level. Secondly, we have posting proposals. This enables you to automatically pre-code an invoice based on your criteria. Let's say we have an invoice from this vendor with this reference. We can automatically split the amount into multiple accounts, amounts, or dimensions. This can also trigger a standard ledger accrual, meaning that it can be split into multiple financial periods. Last but not least, a very nice feature is the ability to create your own end-of-month accrual journal. This looks at all the information available on your imported invoices, creates an open journal for you to review, and once posted, will automatically reverse it on the first day of the next period. You can see here that journal number 191 in the general ledger has been created. I can then open that journal, edit it, delete lines, add lines, change amounts, and then post it. And this can save many hours or perhaps even days of work for some companies. And that concludes this demonstration of XFlow. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, please contact your Dynamics partner or sign up software directly.